Murders are always a tragedy for innocent victims and their families. Some murders go unsolved for decades before being solved, and some remain unsolved despite the efforts of law enforcement. Some murders leave the police baffled and clueless with the current technologies at hand. And it's usually only when forensic sciences have greatly advanced that headway is made on those cases years later. The 35-year-old murder of Bristol, Virginia local Mai Helvey, is a puzzling one for the local authorities and is one of the only unsolved cold cases for that side of the city of Bristol. Mai's death was the first recorded murder in Bristol. Virginia, since 1982 until recently, not at a bad record considering New York City, had an astounding 2013 reported and suspected murders in that year alone. That's not including robberies or any other reported crimes. Bristol is divided into two, one half of the city sitting on the Tennessee side and the other half of the city sits on the Virginia side. It's nicknamed the birthplace of country music and has a museum of music. It's also home to the infamous fastest half mile track in NASCAR, the Bristol Motor Speedway. Maya was born Nak Maidong on October 21, 1953. She was only 30 years old when she was brutally murdered in her shop and home in Bristol, Virginia. The couple had bought a home on Lawrence Avenue, which they renovated, the lower half into a craft shop for Maya and the upper floor being their residence. On February 13, 1982, around 5 p.m., George Havy returned from his job at Ironworks and Bristol Steel to discover the beaten body of his wife, Mai, in the upstairs room above her country craft shop. He immediately called the life-saving crew upon finding her body. Unfortunately, it was too late. She had already died from her injuries. It was discovered during the autopsy that she had died from the multiple wounds to her head and had a fractured skull from the attack. Her death was painful and deemed to be slow from the result of the autopsy. Neighbors reported seeing a strange man in a blue Mustang arrive around 30 p.m. that day and that he left 15 minutes later. He appeared to be around five foot seven, white with a dark complexion and dark hair. Police spent the night sifting through the store searching for evidence or clues and speaking to neighbors. Unfortunately, they didn't uncover much of anything that could be tested with the technology they had available. Any trace evidence was still kept in the hopes it could be used as testing became more advanced and accurate. Even after interviewing Mr. Helvey, they didn't uncover any information as to who or why someone would want Mrs. Helvey killed. According to the local papers, Mai was a Vietnam refugee and was forced to flee her country. Later, she attended Radford College, which is where she met George. Police revealed that she was the daughter of a former South Vietnamese attached to Thailand and was the niece of Vietnam's last president, General Duong Van Bigman, making her murder a suspected political assassination and that a professional assassin was hired. But no evidence was found to lead in that direction. More a friend of mine and former co-worker Patsy McKee said Mai was an artist that worked with pottery painting and silk arrangements, some of which she sold through her craft shop. In February 2019, investigators stated that mitochondrial DNA evidence was found, but unfortunately it ruled out one suspect and didn't produce any other new leads, leaving only more questions behind. Helvey's murder is still unsolved despite advancements in technology and forensic sciences today. Police say that the case will not become any easier to solve, especially since potential witnesses have either moved or have passed away. Detectives say it becomes harder to solve cases like Mai's as time passes, and it has been hard to get in contact with any of her living relatives because they live in countries around the world or have moved on from the tragic event. One of the suspects the police had was a Vietnam veteran who was seen leaving the home on the day Mao was killed, but with no evidence, they could not build a concrete case against any suspects. This made them suspect a hate crime since Maya was from Vietnam and was the niece of a political leader in the country. That scenario is not too far-fetched either, as some veterans from the Vietnam War are still stuck in the ways of hate towards Vietnamese Americans, despite the relative peace with the country. But it's not just those veterans who still hold hatred in their hearts. Any person could hold such a grudge, 
which is why a hate crime has not been eliminated as a possibility for Mai's murder. Any other findings on the case are not available or hard to source outside of the local police department. Since the murder, police continue to submit what evidence they have for testing as new methods and technology advances, but no new leads have been generated so far. This is a murder that has left everyone who knew the victim baffled and heartbroken over the loss of her life. There's a Fook page that was created in December of 2018 that is dedicated to finding the murderer and bringing them to justice for Mai and for her husband, George. The creator of the page, Emily S., was a close friend of Mai's and is still mourning the loss of this beautiful woman. In a post on the page, Emily stated that Mai and George were expecting their first child when she was brutally murdered in their home. She also was the one who sold the old Bristol home to the couple and had become good friends with Mai. Emily begs for anyone with information to contact the detective in charge of Mrs. Helvey's case today in the hopes of bringing the murderer to justice. It makes you wonder why such a wonderful expectant mother would be killed in such a horrendous way, but it's hard to ignore the possibility of political gains or hate crime, especially since nothing was stolen from the store downstairs or the apartment upstairs where my eye was found. What did you think of this story? Let us know in the comment section below.